Indonesia generally has more volcanoes simultaneously erupting than any other country on the planet. However, among its volcanoes which are currently not erupting as of the writing of this video, the nation also has a number of highly scenic volcanoes. Two examples are the scenic volcanic cone of Romo which lies within an ash-filled landscape of a caldera, and the Mount Ranjani volcano which collapsed into a caldera in one of the Holocene's most powerful explosive volcanic eruptions in 1257, now having a volcanic cone within a large and steep-walled caldera. Yet, Indonesia has a third volcano which many agree is quite scenic. There, on Flores Island, is the Kalamutu volcano which contains three beautifully colored crater lakes that are each around 300 meters across and are located at the bottom of 50 meter deep craters. The eastern two of the three acidic lakes can produce a wide range of colors ranging from turquoise, light blue, dark blue, brown, black, green, white, and red, and can change colors several times a year. On some occasions, you might even find a floating sulfur film on the crater lakes which as a whole have pHs ranging from less than 1 to 4, and therefore these lake waters should never be touched. These two lakes owe their coloration due to upwelling of mineral-rich material in the water which is caused by fumaroles that output volcanic gases and mineral compounds at varying rates. Additionally, the brown, red, and black colorations are caused by a second factor, the enrichment of the highly acidic lake waters and oxygen, causing it to almost figuratively rust. Despite all of its beauty, this volcano is considered to be active, having erupted from the Tiwu Nua Murray Coach Tai Lake in 1865, 1938, and most recently in 1968. These eruptions were small to medium in size, all consisting of phreatic eruptions. However, for now, this volcano is in my opinion safe to visit, with it being statistically unlikely to produce another eruption in the next decade, as it has recently erupted only about once every approximately 75 years. Hence, this volcano remains at an alert level of green as of April 24th, 2023. You might think that Kalamutu only contains three volcanic craters, but in fact, it contains six. While three of its craters occur within Crater Lakes, a fourth larger 850 meter wide crater surrounds an inner lake filled crater, while a fifth and sixth crater which are now presumably inactive are shown via scarps in the landscape that are highly eroded. And these six craters do not represent the entire volcano, as if you were to outline the area volcanic products have at one point covered from this complex it would look like this. Despite how many people visit this volcano each year, we still do not know much about this volcano's geologic history. Thus, everything said in this video from this point forward will be merely opinion and not fact via estimates made by myself, aka Geology Hub. Based on the amount of erosion present, the Kalamutu volcano appears to be at least 300,000 years in age, meaning its oldest rocks began forming that long ago. This early activity involved fairly frequent volcanic eruptions which deposited ash and lava flows over a wide area. The former peak was likely once the area now outlined on screen, as you can see what appears to have once been a series of craters along with altered rock, suggesting fumaroles once existed there. Eruptive activity later shifted to another location, building a 2,000 meter high stratocone. After activity migrated to the modern summit, a single or series of explosive eruptions carved out the large crater around Tiwi Ata Mobupu. As for the other three lake filled craters, they likely completely formed in the last 5,000 years. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.